the judge just ruled that the dogs are to remain in custody of um, of of animal control. We have two days to give the judge a memorandum of law. Hopefully he will read the statute, which is pretty damn clear. Yeah. <laughs> Don't they have to provide those dogs with some kind of like a professional? No. To review no. those dogs? No medical. And determine? Yeah. They've denied, I mean, we've tried. And they won't have let a her. She's the second vet that I've tried to get. I, I understand. Have, I tried to get No, we came from Sebring. Oh, okay. What are your names? And by the way, yeah, we, we had a petition her. done, De Linda Stevens. We had a petition done across the world with over 10,000 signatures. Yeah. That, well, see, this county, this is this is not the first time that this city has done this to people. No, absolutely not. And, and you know, we've really got to make this the last absolutely. time. And you have to make these cities, you have to make these counties responsible. Absolutely. And uh, uh, um, it, they can't make up their own laws. What they do is they intimidate people, like they power. intimidated Stephanie to, to deeming her dogs yes. as dangerous. Yes. Yeah. It could happen to anybody. Yeah. That's what everybody needs to realize yeah. in this town. It could be their little uh, fluffy poodle. It could happen they to them next. If they absolutely. don't like them, then it could happen the to their dogs. And why won't they let them go into a professional vet's care? That's what that I mean. Because them. there got to a point in the hearing where um, the judge said to the city attorney, um, why haven't you returned the dogs? At that point, I was getting excited, thinking, yay, the dogs are gonna, gonna be returned. And he said, why? Because um, also to back up, a um, veterinarian from um, Vero Beach said that she would take the dogs into her practice. She will make sure that they get exercise, they get medical attention, and all of the things that they need and um, so after you know she she said that the judge said to the city attorney um, you know why haven't you returned the dogs and he said why should the city continue to pay for their care when um, we have this option and he decides that uh, um, the dogs are going to stay in the custody of um, animal control. Ms. Casper was required by law to have given a hearing within 21 days of when she requested one. She was not. The city has no more authority to hold her dogs. That is the bottom line. It is too late for there to be a hearing. She asked for one. She didn't get one. The city has no authority to hold her dogs any further. The judge will make a ruling one way or another on the petition for rid of Replevin within the next few days. If he denies it, that will be appealed to the Court of Appeals.